Hi, here with a weekend video, and it's Saturday the 30th of July. I'm starting with gold today. Looking at a longer term chart, we saw this major low back in 2016, just above 1,000. Uh, we can count five waves off there one, two, three, regular four, and then five. That's one. Uh, then we had a ABC. Uh, a bit of a flat really, although it didn't quite make the level of the previous uh, A wave. And now we've got the rally I've been talking about, which you caught uh, pretty early on with a, a one, two, and now a three, I believe, and a four in process. It's possible we're actually seeing five waves and we're seeing actually a wave two. So look at the correction so far. Okay, so this is the uh, wave two low of this of this third wave. Um, so I think this could be five waves up. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, I mean, it could be one, two, three, but, but this this correction is quite a long, quite a big correction um, as, as a wave four. So I think it's probably a wave two, and it's you know as, as, as it seems to be happening a lot at the moment with gold and, and Bitcoin, we're getting it's pretty much on rails. A, B, C. Okay, the D didn't quite make the trend line, so maybe on rails is slight exaggeration. Uh, and now we've got the E wave decline coming in. Uh, maybe an ABC. So 1390 is a good target for the low here, uh, and that could herald in a new rally. So, um, and if it's a wave three um, of. Uh, yeah, sorry, if this is a wave one. That's one of three. Then this is wave two or three, and we could see this an incredible wave three or three. Well, I say incredible, a uh, very strong wave three or three, um, which could really be quite uh, quite something. Um, so certainly, if we see this low, I was strongly just getting on board. Um, as you know, I've got gold coins, uh, ETFs, uh, trackers, various stocks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and uh, I think I think now is the time to be positioned. Of course, you're going to go for options. Um, I mean, you can buy call options on ETFs on stocks. Um, that's a little bit more technical, uh, but um, there's, there's a range of alternatives. Um, I mean, obviously, you buy, you buy gold coins, and you have got a problem of selling them. They're not quite so they're not terribly realizable, um, but they are quite ni nice to keep. Although they're a bit too handy for giving away as presents, I find. All right, Bitcoin, no change of opinion here. We've got the uh, the big one of around 3,000. Um, I can this still as an A, a B, and a C with a move down to maybe 8,000, 9,000. So no change there. Um, I think that would be quite a good shakeout for the market. Um, and obviously, if you want to go short, you, know, you have your own techniques of doing that. I mean, certainly, I'm expecting it to come down. Um, I'm more interested in buying more of the lows. I think that this would be a well, possibly a once in a lifetime opportunity, although they do come around every now and then, um, just to get on board something that could take us, uh, I think, certainly above 20,000 um, and possibly above 50,000, maybe even 100,000. Not this year, probably, although it's not impossible, but uh, I think sometime next year we might be in six figures on Bitcoin. Um, so it could be a, a substantial rally. We're looking at the Dow, it seems to be off the races again. Um, I think we've now got a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, third wave. Quite a feeble fourth, and now the fifth wave coming in. Um, so, yeah, we've got the promise of interest rate cuts uh, because the, uh, the economy may be beyond any, any salvation, I think. Uh, that's, that's my view, it's gone too far, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, the market's celebrating at the moment. Well, meanwhile, the DAX seems to have an ABC rally um, off the low here. So A, B, ABC, um, which uh, and quite a, a more solid decline. Um, I think is appropriate uh, given the state of Europe, although America is not I think, that far behind. Uh, it's just disguising it better or handling it better. Looking at FTSE, it's all in the middle. At the end of this, having seen this big ABC off the high. Uh, we seem to have a one wave, two wave, and maybe one of three with a corrective pullback. So um, we've got, got, got all all variations between um, Dow, DAX, and FTSE. Dow obviously making new highs and uh, looking pretty strong. DAX looking pretty weak, 
and the footy seeing what seems to be a corrective pullback before we see more upside I suspect Right, as a sort of bonus I'll throw in silver today uh, kind of depressed looking chart really I mean gold's obviously doing very well but silver is really languishing I mean they both bottomed in 2016 both saw solid rallies um, this looks like a pretty corrective A, B, C it could be a two wave that could be a one that could be a two really not going very far. I mean, I think gold does have the advantage of scarcity. Uh, apparently it's running out at the moment, although the, um, there are, is, there are, there's talk of meteorites which are solid gold, etc. But quite a long bit will take for us to get to those, I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe less time than we think, but uh, there's still quite a lot of costs to get them back down to earth again. Um, yeah, I mean, we need more really. It's all the shorter. I mean, compared to gold, this, this chart's a real mess in Elliott terms. I mean, that was like an ABC rally, which is not very encouraging. Having said that, the decline here also looks corrective, so if that's an A wave, then this might be a B wave coming in. Uh, so there could well be a decent rally, I guess. So that the length of this one was what, 14.225 up to 15.50, so about one, $1 a bit more, one, $1 a bit. So maybe $16 on this rally. Um, and of course, if it goes ahead of steam, then we might see something more dramatic. Um, but compared to the gold chart, this one is uh, not terribly exciting. Uh, on that note, I'll call it a day. I hope you found that all interesting and useful. Back to the report on Tuesday morning for subscribers. Uh, we remain you know, getting closer and closer to these, these opportunities on gold and Bitcoin, uh, where we could see these uh, very startling rallies, third, third of a third, uh, well, certainly a third wave on Bitcoin and a third of a third on gold. Uh, you don't get opportunities like that that often, um, so I would encourage you to think carefully about whether you want to be involved in these possible rallies. Obviously, there's always risk. You know, we, we look into the future; we can only see dimly what may be there. But uh, right now, the chart patterns are fairly convincing. Um, so I'll leave that that thought with you. Um, thanks for listening, and bye for now.